Hey Luke here with CatsAndCarp.com and today I am showing you the best catfish rods that aren't catfish rods. Okay, so there are a lot of fishing rods on the market and there's a lot of fishing rods that are specifically marketed for catfishing. But I gotta tell you that some of my favorite catfishing rods are not designed for catfishing. So I'm gonna go through and show you my absolute favorites. Now to give you a little background, first off, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. And I've owned all of these rods for, a, all except for one of them I've owned for over a year. And uh, so these are rods I know well. All right, let's jump right into the rods. Starting with some of the cheapest, let me show you these three. These three rods are all the same rod. It's the Shakespeare Big Water Alpha, also known as the Shakespeare Contender. These rod and reel combos are $29.99. Um, I bought the first Big Water Alpha four years ago and I've used it heavily since. It works just fine. I've had no problems with the rod or the reel. Uh, this is the Shakespeare Big Water Alpha I bought six months ago, all still $29.99. And this is the Shakespeare Contender, the saltwater version. It's the same thing, different paint job, different name. All $29.99, all of them great all around catfish rods. I wouldn't want to catch a massive 40 plus pound catfish on this, but for the basic, you know, four or five pound channel catfish, small blues, and the occasional big boy pushing around 20 pounds, works great. They uh, throw about, up to about three ounces of lead comfortably. Uh, so if you're fishing in heavy current, this might not throw enough lead for you. And they don't have a ton of distance, but they're just good. they good all around rods. If you're fishing underneath the dock, if you're fishing in tight quarters, if you're fishing from a kayak, or if you're trying to get little kids into fishing, get this rod right here. It's the Zebco Dock Demon. $9.99 on Amazon.com. They also sell them at Walmart and a lot of other locations. Um, it's just this tiny little rod and reel combo. It's indestructible. I own six of these. I have put them through the paces and I've caught up to 19 pound catfish on this no problem. Um, they don't cast very far at all and they're not designed for throwing heavy leads or weights but if you're throwing small amounts of bait not very far or just dropping it down underneath the boat they're fabulous and they're perfect for little kids. Don't buy your kid a Snoopy rod or a Spider-Man rod. Get the Zepco Dock Demon. It's a real rod that works well and it's super cheap. I'm not a huge fan of the ugly stick rods, that's why there's not one of the tiger rods in this collection, but the ugly stick GX2s are great. I, I really think they're a good rod for the price. $39, they have a much better action than the traditional ugly sticks. They don't feel like a broom handle. A lot of the old ugly sticks do. Um, this is the medium heavy power. It's a very short rod. I believe it's uh, six and a half feet tall. Uh, so you're not going to get a lot of great casting distance, but they're super tough, nearly indestructible, affordable, they feel good in the hand, and they're great for catfishing. Uh, my son Tommy caught a 12-pound channel catfish on this rod, no problem. I think you could take a 20 to 30-pound catfish on this without much fuss at all. Um, but it still is enjoyable to catch a 4 or 5-pound channel catfish on this rod. Looks good too. Now here's a more obscure rod in my collection. This is the Chubb Outcast. It's the 2.75 pound test curve, six foot rod. This is a British carp fishing rod, which we call a stalker rod. Um, it's a super light, very sensitive rod that can handle large fish. Um, I've landed several fish uh, in the 30 pound range on this and 20 pounders, no problem. It's a dainty little thing. It's smaller, lighter than almost any of the other rods here in the collection. And it's nice and short. So if you like to bank fish or boat fish and you don't want a long rod that gets, you know, hits the brush overhead so you don't have a lot of room for casting, it's a great rod. I've got it paired up with the Daiwa Regal 3500 BRI Bite and Run Reel. This is one of those reels with the two drag system. So this is perfect for bank fishing because you put your rod in a little fork stick or a rod holder and a fish will grab it and pull it right into the water. So what you do is 
you select the bottom drag, which is a light drag, and if the fish grabs your line, it just takes line, okay? And then as soon as you pick up the rod, you either turn the handle or flip the switch, and it activates the heavy duty fighting drag, which allows you to fight the fish. So it allows you to switch between light drag and heavy drag, the flip of a switch. Great for bank fishing. This rod runs about 40 US dollars, depending on the exchange rate, because it is a British rod. Uh, shipping is a little bit of a, uh, a booger. I'll put a link in the description to a site that ships to the US. Generally speaking, the shipping is about 30 to 40 dollars. But if you can buy a bunch of them, then it's not too bad. So I bought, uh, I think, eight of these rods, and I still paid the same flat $30 in shipping. So per rod, it wasn't that bad. This right here is my newest rod in the collection. I bought this only a couple months ago, and I've been taken out several times fishing, and I'm really in love with this rod. It's the Okuma SST. It's got this carbon fiber handle. It's super light and this thing casts a country mile. It's an eight foot rod, so it's got some decent length. It's a two piece rod, but for its weight and its size, it's just a fabulous casting rod. I just really love this rod. Um, it's light in the hands, so for instance, I was using it lure fishing today. Uh, it's designed as a salmon fishing rod, um, but it's great for catfish. It's light, it's sensitive, and it casts really, really far and it's good looking too and I really love the carbon fiber handle. I believe it runs about $68 and uh, you can buy this online or at any of your Okuma dealers. I've got it paired up with the Cast King Kodiak, I believe it's the 90, which is an, a light uh, heavy duty strong reel. Also, it's a good pairing. You want to put a light reel on this rod. I'd also recommend like the Fluger uh, Supreme XTs those are another really good lightweight reel. I own like 115 rods, and if you were to ask me which is my favorite, the Cabela's MagTouch rods would be high up there. Forget catfishing or anything like that, just I love this rod, period, you know, regardless of what I'm using it for. It is so light, so strong, and it's got the sexy carbon fiber handle, which I am in love with. It just is a good looking, light, strong rod that performs well and feels great in the hands runs about 90 to 110 dollars depending on the pricing this is the largest model that they currently sell at cabela's it's the 8 to 12 pound spinning rod uh, version uh, i own like half a dozen of the the older version mag touches and i've hooked black tip sharks on them my biggest flathead ever at 53 pounds was landed on one of these uh, they're dainty they're tiny but they pack a wallop um, i took these with me to go catch big head carp with Steve Douglas, and he landed a 40 pounder on on uh, one of these these rods. So light, they cast fabulous, they feel great in the hand, and they've got more strength than you would ever believe. This rod runs about $100, and in a rod this nice, you're going to want to pair with a nice reel. I'm a huge fan of the Fluger reels and the Fluger President Limited Series or the Fluger Supreme XT, which I have on here are a great pairing. You want a light, strong, good looking reel for this rod. This right here in my hands is the Daiwa Mission X. It is a 12 foot carp rod. It is extremely light. It is very sensitive. It is a 2.75 pound test curve rod. Test curve is the way the British measure the power of a rod. It's how many pounds it takes to bend the tip of the rod 90 degrees. This is a great rod for small to medium sized catfish. Anything up to about 30 pounds, no problem. I've taken many 20 pound fish on this rod, but it still feels fabulous with a one or two pound channel catfish. It's got great sensitivity and the casting distance is amazing. If you know what you're doing, 80 to 100 yards of casting distance is completely doable with this rod. This is a British carp fishing rod but you can find it here in the United States. Bass Pro Shop sells it, BigCarpTackle.com sells it. So there's a number of dealers here in the United States that will sell and ship this rod in North America. It runs about $110 and it has this Fuji shrink wrap handle. It weighs less than a lot of the seven foot catfish rods on the market and it is extremely sensitive. It throws about one to three ounces of lead ideally and 
a lot of people use surf rods to do long distance catfishing, but if they're too beefy, they're too, too much backbone, they're designed for too big of leads. This is perfect for most of your catfishing situations. It's got tons of sensitivity, but it can outdo those surf rods in distance. I got this rod paired up with the Daiwa Crosscast X5000. It's a big pit uh, carp reel from the UK, uh, and it's a fabulous, fabulous reel. This right here is the Nash Scope. It's a 10 foot, 2.75 pound carp rod. It's a British rod made for the British carp fishing market, but here's what's cool about it. It's a two piece rod, right? And the butt section is telescopic. And the ferrule is such that look how much it breaks down. So less than four feet. So this rod is a 10 foot rod that packs away very small, fits to the trunk of even a compact car. You can carry it on a plane. It's easy to pack. This is one of my favorite rods because of that feature. It's extremely light, very sensitive, and has a lot of backbone to it. I've caught uh, silver salmon on this, catfish, carp. Um, whenever I'm traveling and I want a nice rod that can cast some distance, this is my rod of choice. It's built like the Daiwa Mission X, with the Fuji shrink wrap handle, light, extremely sensitive, great casting distance, but it breaks down and stores very small, which makes it great for traveling or for people who don't have a lot of room in their house. This rod runs you about $140, depending on how well the dollar's doing compared to the pound. But if you're looking for a cheaper version, the same company, Nash, makes the Dwarf. The Dwarf is basically the low end version of the scope. I own one of the Dwarfs. Um, they're not bad. They're a little bit bulkier. Um, a little bit less high quality materials, but still a decent rod. So a scope is best, but if you can't afford it, the Dwarf's a nice alternative. I have this rod paired up with a Daiwa Regal BRI 4000 bite and run reel with that two drag system. Perfect for bank fishing. If you want a long distance catfishing rod that's got tons of backbone, can throw huge leads, and packs down very small, then you want the Dam Red Steel. The Dam Corporation is a German or Austrian fishing rod, rod company and they make this surf rod that is telescopic. This is a 15 foot, 15 foot rod and it is massive. It's light and it can take a beating. It throws five, six ounces of lead, no problem, but breaks down extremely small. So if you need to fish in a big river where you need to throw large leads, or you wanna fish a large reservoir where you want as much distance as possible and you might hook in to a 50, 60 pound catfish, this surf rod is amazing. And then it fits in the trunk of the smallest car. This rod and reel combo ran me uh, about $160. It is a European company, but you can get them here in the U.S., shipped to the U.S. through Amazon.com. That's where I got mine. If you want something similar to the Dam Red Steel, but you aren't going to be catching massive catfish with it, you know, you're going to be keeping to 20 pounds or less, and you don't need to be throwing big leads, then check out some of these Daiwa telescopic surf rods for the Japanese market. They come in sizes ranging from about 11 to 13 feet and they're very sensitive, very light. They have these quick release uh, reel seats, which are very convenient. And these are fabulous surf rods designed for the Asian markets. Um, I've had these for a number of years and I absolutely love them. You can buy them on eBay, Amazon.com, some other sites. This particular rod is the Daiwa Prime Surf and it is a T27-425. The 425 is how many centimeters it is. So it's about 4.25 meters. It's basically about 13 feet long. And the T27 tells you the power of the rod. The bigger the number, the stiffer the rod. So this is uh, the 27. 
would be uh, like a medium heavy, okay? This would throw, throws about two to four ounces, two to three ounces ideally. These telescopic Daiwa surf rods for the Japanese market are fabulous. There's the Liberty Club, the uh, Prime Surf, both excellent rods. If you wanna buy the Bugatti Veyron of long distance catfishing rods, feast your eyes on the High S200. This thing is amazing. In the right hands, it can cast over 200 yards, but that takes training and technique and whatever. But uh, a schmo like me can cast well over 100 yards with this rod. I've got it paired up with the Shimano Ultegra C14 Plus 14,000. Um, I've got some 40 pound spider wire on this thing and I like to pair it up with five to six ounce leads. It's one of the best long distance rods that's actually designed for fishing. There's a few other rods that are arguably better at long distance casting, but they're more designed for simply competitive casting rather than fishing at long distances. This thing will handle a catfish of any size and it will throw tremendous distances, okay? So if you're fishing in a big river, you need to be chucking big uh, leads and you need to chuck them far and you have $1,000 to spend, then check out this. It's $650 for the rod, brand new. The uh, Shimano is about 400 bucks. So a little over $1,000 and you too can be fishing at 150 yards. This rod is sold exclusively in the UK but you can find several uh, companies that will ship to the United States. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you like these types of videos, we're doing a new rod review video each day this week. And on Sunday, we are going to be doing an awesome rod giveaway. So stay tuned. And if you wanna see more great videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to... Click subscribe, build it. Thanks for watching.